you toss our hands! is a solution. Sometimes. So be it. Fools! As you wish. Let us end this! Wipe them out! Grey Warden, isn't it? Strange you would force such a visit in a time of blight. I suppose I am used to inspiring a different kind. Fine. I encourage fools to waste their lives in fantasy. Those adequate for my purposes find the gems, and then I find them. You are different. Eyes are on you. Witness Gax King! Huh.
Welcome back. What can I get for you, honey? Oh, I like the sound of that. I think we have what you're looking for. Welcome back. What can I get for you, honey? Come again. Hello, welcome to the channel. It seems I missed something. I don't know. As there is but one world, one life, one death, there is but one God, and He is our Maker. They are the one who repents. Who has faith unshaken by the darkness of the world, and roasts not, nor gloats over the misfortunes of the weak, but takes delight in the Maker's law and creations. Boasts. It's boasts, sister, not roasts. She shall know the peas of the Maker's benediction. The light shall lead her safely through the paths of this world and into the next. Peace, sister, peace. She shall know the peace of the Maker's benediction. The veal holds no uncertainty for her, and she will know no fear of death, for the Maker shall be her bacon and her shield, her foundation and her... There's no veal in the chant. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Oh, 
It's not an interruption, dear. We were just finishing up before mealtime. What can I do for you? Praying for the good people of Denerim who have lost loved ones at Ostagar. It's usual to recite a stanza from Transfigurations when you pray for the departed. It's usual to recite the stanza correctly. But that's what I said! Tell you about the chart? What? As if it's a cake you might buy? Well, it's done enough, but a little too much nutmeg for my taste. Sister, instructing the ignorant is a sacred duty of the Chantry. Fine, then. What do you want to know? It's the tenth stanza from the Transfigurations. Lovely canticle, that one. Oh, you should have heard Brother Cademan sing it, though. He had a voice like a bucket full of toads. Revered Mother Boan, bless her heart, always said, if we had more voices like his, the Maker couldn't fail to take note of us. It was tragic, really. Such a surprise. We don't speak of that. He was in charge of the Lyrium storehouse. It wasn't good for him, you see. He took off all his clothes in the middle of the chant one summer day and ran into the street. He tripped and fell into the vat of elderberry wine for the feast and drowned. We were six days drying him out for his cremation. He looked like a pickled egg. So tragic. Oh, there are some very stirring canticles about doom and wrath. Darkspawn were created by mankind's second sin, pride. Arrogance became a great caged beast in the lands of Tevinter, an emptiness that consumed all and could never be filled. To satisfy its hunger, the mage lords assaulted the golden city, heart of all creation, to take the Maker's power for themselves. Why does no one ever sing the good stanzas during Chantry services anymore? They speak them. It's called the Chant of Light, not the Speech of Light. Sister, would you kindly stop messing up the chant? 